Uh, hello everyone, and uh, yeah, can take the mouse here. I don't need this. Uh, this I guess mouse. we're starting on a game seven right now, and uh, this is probably. If we were marking these down as uh, most played, this would be second. So I do enjoy this game quite a bit. This one, I I like the story behind it and stuff. Um, so look, they gave you a new option. More Nancy Drew, yeah. They're, they're more often. Nancy Drew. So yeah, and also um, I've been like looking back at some of the previous recordings, and I've noticed that I've been fairly easy on like telling Mike what to do no, and I giving think, him hints and stuff fine. like that. So I think for this game, I'm really gonna try and just like stay silent except for comments on the actual game itself, not telling him what to do unless he really, really. You're gonna needs be it. so unbelievably frustrated watching. Probably. We'll see how long it lasts before our break. Welcome to my but... latest pace. Ghost dog. Dear Ned, remember oh, yeah. Sally McDonald, the woman who thing. took those photos that Dad has up in his office? No. Well, she just bought a house in Moonlight, never seen Pennsylvania. Them. Moonlight. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as a country Malone. getaway. We're talking Sounds major like a gangster. He is a gangster. Oh, look at that. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. Her house is looking pretty run down, though. She refused to say why. Look at the, the deck. So Naturally, simple. I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately, but weird nice boat. things started happening the moment I pulled up. They don't want you there. Nope. First, this the heck big is that thing? tree fell down That's behind my car That's and has me totally blocked in. on the case. And will then be I kept. discovered that oh. Sally's gone. She left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here Good. I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. Here I sit. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightens She's got Sally a scribe. Away, another part of me is starting mm. to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Ugh. Okay, so you start in her cabin here. Dusty. Well, that was fast. Mm -hmm. It was pretty quick. Why would you keep a phone like this? Hello, Nancy. Hi, it's Sally. It's, it's, good it's sound not a ring quality. phone. It's actually digital. Oh. Low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes. Are you all right? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You, you should. Must think I'm such a flake. I'm you just are. worried about you. What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending I'm another night there. I'm a coward. <laughs> That's I what's you wrong. Away, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. These frogs, they just scared. won't stop croaking. So They're terrifying me. <laughs> There's a branch outside my window. Keeps clanging against the glass. <laughs> Can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Why don't you just go home? Just get cut off? Yeah, we're in Pennsylvania, if you didn't know that already. Even if I could. What do you mean? Haha. Uh -huh. Convenience of the plot. Yes. <laughs> this is the least helpful person ever. So as you can tell, she's pretty panicked at this point. Apparently. Why did you tell me to come? I don't know. I can't just take off in your boat. It's pitch black outside. She out on us. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Call the police immediately. Have them escort you off. There are any locks on the doors and there windows. This house is a rundown <laughs> piece of shit. What are you so afraid of? The dogs! Those dogs! Out of nowhere! When they're just outside howling and snarling! Teeth and claws! Hello? Horrible. Did you say dogs? Hello? Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? So we got nice and cut off. So by the dogs. That's your intro to the game. I have to go lock the doors apparently. What is that? <laughs> That's a good <laughs> question. The creaking floorboards. They say woo like Ric Flair? Yeah, woo! Is that Ric Flair outside the window? Ric Flair in this game? So Do that, I like die immediately if I open the door? Uh, you can see. 
getting louder. Something's out there. We'll wander out there and figure out what now it is. What you've done. This fat stain is out that here. That was a Varia. <laughs> At least I think it was. What the hell is a Strix Varia? A type of bird. He's a bird watcher. That just is pissed at everyone. Why is he wearing that hat? It's throwing me off. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Good question. Red Knot. Red Knot. Red red knot? I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything. Does he live here? Gaster. Yeah, kind of. Over the summer. <laughs> well, what the hell? He watches birds out here during his off time. Why did she not make mention of this guy? So that was him making the woo sounds. He was watching wrestling. I hope so. Yeah. He was giving somebody the good old like chest backhands on the turnbuckle. <laughs> God. The, the strange thing is he's never available during the day. Like, you never see him, so it's like, where do you go, Red? This guy's, it's a little disturbing. I don't even know if there's a mystery, but he's a suspect. Like, he talks, and I don't even know. Like, you call Sally, and she's like, I've never even met this guy. How does he know so much about me? <laughs> he died 50 years ago. Yeah. Red Knot. four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen. Yeah, dogs happen to do that from time to time. Like their hearts were broken every night until one by one, they all died. <laughs> or just stop. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. What do the dogs do? Are you saying Sally's like house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the cut down the whole forest. The house, running around, snarling, Run around. And throwing themselves at the Give them some meat. Windows. The dogs are? Yeah. I thought they died. That's why they're buried in the cemetery. Did they like wander into the forest when they stopped howling and get them? What? The I guess. They like just, you just made some. The forest weird. is literally right outside his house, if you haven't noticed. Well, yeah. But like, it's the like... cemetery is like five minutes away. God. Do I have to drive there? No, you walk there. Perfect. Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. Of course not, the ghost After dogs. the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. Thought there was no locks. Why haven't the police investigated? I'm not seeing much consistency this here. This is New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. And all Jeff Akers does. <laughs> Jeff Akers. No one likes day, Jeff Akers. Figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here. He's a just a park. prick that just tickets everybody for no reason. Do You'll you need him. Sounds like a good guy. I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation. Stand on strangers' decks and howl. Kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Dogs howling. Yes. He's stunned. Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. They Which sound like teenagers. Good idea. If I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house, good yeah. luck, Miss Nancy Drew. It's just like a bush party going on. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so he tells you to get the fuck back inside. This place could use a nice vacuuming. Could use a nice dusting. Could use a nice everything. Could need. Yeah, could use a good everything. Uh -oh. Whoa! This is not good. They're trying to get in. I can't open the door knob. What the? God, this house is a piece of crap. How is it gonna fall apart? Is she running? Oh my god. Or Rottweilers. Of course. Why are their eyes glowing? I don't know. So that's how you change it from night to day. Okay. So you got the <laughs> light, this, happy music. This cheery music. You just go to bed after that, yeah. Get well water tested as soon as possible. The water doesn't even work. Harry thought you could use this map to the cemetery. You'll find lots of bait along the way, especially at night. The cemetery is real hard to find if you get lost a bunch of times. Happy fishing, George. So yeah, have fun exploring this on foot. This is the map for the maze of the woods. You gotta get from this house to the cemetery up there. Now? 
No, just at some point during the game. Bleach. Pour it over everything. There's a note there. Really? Right. But I just can't face another night here. I'm going to my aunt's in Philadelphia. Door is open. Make yourself at home. We'll call you from my car. <laughs> PPPS, please don't call me either. <laughs> I don't want anything <laughs> to do with you. <laughs> don't hate me. Don't call me. Don't talk to me ever again. Don't. Just don't. Don't. Even associate yourself with me anymore. Yeah, forget I was even. We're here. no, we're no longer acquaintances. Ooh, a Swiss, nice. A nice clock there. Cuckoo clock. Of course, they'd be dogs, wouldn't they? Rough. Back away. So this is clearly a puzzle that you're going to have to solve at some point during the game. Yeah. One, three, four, two. <laughs> so yeah, if you didn't notice before, the phone is right by the couch there. So that's what you can use to call people if you need to. I'll probably give her Party a call. boys make a hilarious return in this game, so use Good. that to your advantage. Vitus, Eggy, Lucy, and Xander. Those are the four names of his dogs. Oh, that. another damn puzzle. Look at that. Look it's at that butt. Stuck. Look at that butt. I need some sandpaper. Ugh. So the one doesn't turn. Wonderful. Of course. Of course the one doesn't turn. Getting calling people out of the way early. Yeah, before I have to tell them my life story every you time. You will eventually. I know. Nancy, how's it going? Hey, Bess. How'd you know it was me? Telepathy, of course. Just another of my many times. Nobody ever phones you me. You are so <laughs> full of it. She got caller ID, Nancy. So now, instead of oh, hanging fancy. up on the that always call her, she just doesn't answer the phone. Very Wonderful. funny. So what's up? But now people hang up on her as well. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Now that she oh, has caller whoops. ID. Really do some exploring. Sally said you could use hers. Go for it. I could sure use a oh, nice damn big it. hint right about you now. Should, I, I wanted that you one both times. You should read your responses <laughs> before you click hers. on them. Go for it. They just say the exact same thing. Really yeah, yeah take the boat out. Nancy, are you having a stroke? We already told you. Now what that I have caller so ID, I realize just how many sure losers actually sell. call me, and that the you people that matter dogs? don't call me ever. George, dogs don't attack houses. They were rabbits. <laughs> they were definitely dogs. I definitely have cancer. Nowhere, started leaping at the windows and scratching the Throwing room doors references like in here now. Yeah. I thought that was saved for number four. Maybe that no. was just their way of being friendly. <laughs> These dogs Lisa. were not Lisa. friendly, believe me. And the time has passed, unfortunately. A bird <laughs> never too late for room references. They were ghosts. The man who built Sally's place on Moon was a gangster. The bird watchers said that the ghosts of his dogs show up every time someone new tries to live here. The place is haunted by ghost dogs? Yeah, that does like sound pretty stupid. Ghosts, <laughs> but it does sound like you've got another mystery on your hands, Detective Drew. Uh, I could sure use a big hint. I could hear, sure figure. use a big juicy sandwich of a hint. <laughs> God. Who's Sally McDonald? That's her friend that owns the cabin. Oh, she the one that disappeared? Yeah, that called you and then hung up on you last night. Terrific. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, did you see them? Did you see the dog? Yes, I did, and I no. can understand. No, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking. No, but your house sucks. It almost fell apart for no reason. You. I'd really <laughs> like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. Yay. I wish I were even half the truth. Well, you are, Nancy. it's a lot different from the other one. The mystery already started. Yeah, there's no stupid the chores to do in this one. Wildlife. It's just mystery. And the other good thing I like about this one is that there's only three suspects. It's like, That's it's very nice. like, actual like, explore and find things oriented. Good. Instead of continuously going back and forth and talking to people about what they know. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's 
This is another one like uh, Haunted Mansion that you can finish in probably like two hours if you know what you're doing. You gotta find all the stuff, ask the right questions. Mm. But we'll see how far you get on it by yourself. I don't consider this like a very hard one. Like there isn't any puzzles or any like conclusions that you have to come to that are incredibly out there. If you use logic, you should be able to figure out what to do. Well, some of the, the puzzles time. is like. When they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Ridiculous. Yes, come to think of it, they always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They lunge at the windows. They jump up on the door. They run around and bark some more. Then they run off. Good, good. They're dicks. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs. It's all an illusion. Someone determined to scare you out of your house. It's a man in a mask. Who would want to do that? Well, they succeeded because she fucking laughed. Yeah. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's all season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three. Why is it off season in the summer? This makes no sense. Which three is this people? the three suspects? No, Sally isn't a suspect. You have No, I know, but it's like these people. Red Knot. Yeah, Red Knot, Jeff Akers, and Emily Griffin are the three. Red Knot. I run into him too. Red Green. So those are your only three suspects the entire time. What about these people Emily, that she nodded Jeff, hello at? Uh, no, they're not. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? Old Man Withers. You mean like an angry ex-boyfriend or something? No, I sure can't. My mother. Did <laughs> she succeed in because I'm be staying there? Is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water Gross. and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. Just boil it. Fact, boil that crap. If you get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. Ah, here's the chores. Oh, There's, that's basically the it. <laughs> you gotta test her water because she's like, well, she's there anyway, you might as well do something. <laughs> what about this creep yelling woo out on the porch? <laughs> what should I do about him? <laughs> I got a shotgun in the back closet. <laughs> this red knot figure just shows up at my back door from time to time and yells. Just knocks asking for food. Don't give it to him. For the love of God, don't. <laughs> hey, neighbor, got any sugar? How well do you he know learns. You if you give it to him once, he'll never leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> now he just lets himself in and she takes it. It irks them because they're criminals and degenerates. To make a buck. As a pain in the neck, a pain in the ball sack. How do I go about getting your water? <laughs> he really is. Try the ranger station on the east side of the lake. Ah, you get to meet I the ranger. Get some kind of kit there. You gotta make fix the boat first. I'm God curious. Damn it. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's ten most wanted list. I don't think he likes me. I thought she was getting it that he stole it. <laughs> it's like he stole your picnic basket. Me, I think he just basically has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. Nothing wrong with that. Talk to you later. Thanks again. Hey, so you got your calling out of the way. I want to see what happens when I do this. Nothing. Damn it. Nine one one doesn't work here. What's that? There's some squeaking going on. So she nice. That's just Ric Flair's bones. <laughs> His old creaking in the woodwork. So he needs to decorate this Rotten place. Floorboards. How about she actually fixes something? <laughs> Did I just die? Yeah, that's kind of a beginner's trap there. Just go second chance. Here's an idea. So Quit don't leave. walk toward the post on the wall. Why does she keep leaving notes around instead of actually doing anything? Yeah, Look at this. Her, is there is there anything I hanging. need to know about the cabin while I'm staying here? Uh, no, nothing that I can think of. And then she comes back and you've broken both your legs at the bottom of her floor. You're just dead. You got a bottle of water. Sick. God. Um. Ranger station. Gotta get there. Is there any way I can call them? No. 
You gotta get. I gotta, you gotta walk there. Visit, you need it's across the lake. You have to. I gotta fix the boat. Fix the boat. Take the boat Just out. Throw there. some gas in it or what? You'll see. Not quite that simple, of course, but. Red knot sleeping out on the porch. Red knot doesn't exist during the day. He just disappears. Whoa! I can turn left and right. I should probably go see the boat first. <laughs> it's a pretty big area. Open the world. Full of water. Ah, I see. So we should get I rid of it. So you got to bail out the water. I need to bail out the boat. Use the bottle. How about this? I don't I think need the to flashlight's bail out the boat. Work. Oh, it's a flashlight. That was a tea yeah. kettle. No, it's oh. a flashlight. Okay, so I need like a oh, like a watering can. <laughs> a tin can of soup. Anything, anything will do. All right, so your shed is over here. Oh, nice. I was sort of walking. It's actually a pretty big ah, place by your cabin scythe. here. Well, I like this game too because there's actual a scenery. A gnome could love. Okay. <laughs> and outside what was, of why? the forest, could it die? She, she just felt like making that comment, I guess. Hey, it's the iron for number iron, three. Yes. Why did I? Is this the only reason I can zoom up? I think so. It's just an to Easter clearly egg. see that iron. Yeah. I'm not gonna break my legs if I take a closer look at it. Need a key. It's locked. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, tips. Good stuff. Gas. Mm. I can burn this place to the ground. Like, why? That's just to zoom up, too. Oh, okay. It's like, do I need to fumigate for bugs now, too, or what? Spray, spray the weeds? Spray the weeds, yeah. Spray that area. There's nothing in here. Ah, there's a... Give me that bucket. That's not what you take. All right. Take the gnome? No. Oh, it's going red. Oh, there's a key! Oh, Look yes! Look at that. Jackpot. Oh, the key! Oh! <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> this place. <laughs> okay. Not a whole lot I can do about it now, is there? There's got to be another way to get this open. Take a hatchet to it. I gotta have some torque. Light bulb. Have some torque. So, I guess we need a screwdriver or something of equal value. Is it in here? <laughs> Can't tell you anything. I'm leaving. Okay. Oh, I thought I was about to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> Choke her to death. It's just air. It's like an air pump. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that gnome. That gnome a lot of is, time looking at that gnome. That gnome is the solution to all my problems. Just man up and rip the thing open. It's probably gonna you probably fall could, apart in yeah, your hand. You probably could just tear planks off of it, but no, well, that's not the way they wanted you to do it. I don't care. What's on the other side here? Uh, the other side is Red Knot's observation deck. If you go, hey, that was this a stick path, there. But he's not there because he's never there. Got to find a screwdriver. Can I ask him for one? I'm not sure he is. Eh, might be able to. Screwdriver. Can't really look in any of the cupboards in here, can you? Uh, not really, no. You looked in those over there. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. You know what happens. <laughs> I'll phone Sally. Sally, where can I get a screwdriver? You've already looked in there. Okay. Use the glasses. I have a feeling this one could be a lot longer than the previous ones. Yes, sir. Coming up on a 12 parter here, people. <laughs> she just leaves bananas on the table. What? Yeah, what a slob. <laughs> That's her side door. Where does this lead? That leads into the woods. You can try going in there, but if you get lost, it can be kind of a bitch to turn around in. Ooh. That's the door of the cellar, but it's locked. Well, apparently keys don't work on doors in this game, so... I'm tired. Dead body? No. 
Yeah. Plank of wood all day. Yes. Those look too rotten. Too rotten for what? Remember when it said rotten floorboards? Yeah, we can use that to make a house. Oh wait, they already did. Just wander off into the woods. You can try, like, it's, you're gonna have to eventually, but I'm just saying that... You're gonna have to find your way around eventually. I actually, like, when I was younger, I played this game like so much got a bucket now I played this game so much that I could actually navigate the woods without using a map I memorized my way to the cemetery like every single turn and stuff no I was pretty impressed with myself start bailing throw that water out of there what okay and then there's just a screwdriver one problem solves another. Yes. That's how it works in the Nancy Drew universe. The solution always presents itself. I gotta have some torque. Use the bucket. Oh, got them both in one screw. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. That'll be great for murdering that red knot guy if he comes outside so you my house. You got a hammer and nails. And a dirty gas. Mask. Okay, I can fumigate. Yes, you can. You can do those weeds now. Why would you specifically pick to lock this stuff up? Hmm? Like, this case was locked, but why? Why this stuff? I have no idea. Again, just to hinder your progress, I guess. Hammer and nails? Now I In can... real life, there'd be no point to it, but... Now I can fix up the house. You can. Better throw on that life jacket at all point in time. The spark plug is missing. Oh my god. So you need to find a spark plug. And then there's this stuff. I gotta have some torque. Oh. And then you gotta screw around with this. Like what's the point? Um, oh, I guess I see. I see what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. It, like it's on the back there, right? It's yeah. this code. Yeah, but you need a spark plug first. Yeah. So. Look at all them fallen leaves. A spark plug. Where do I? Even, where would I even begin to look for a spark plug? I'll just go back to sleep. It's a hard day's work. Hammer and nails. Can I fix these rotten floorboards? Uh, you can try. You can throw the one board down anyway. But you need two more to fix it. <laughs> Nicely done, Nancy. You gotta find two more boards to... Those floorboards need to be replaced. You need to find it's two still more. Not fixed. So well, I hope that's not how up. you fix it. <laughs> the deer's on the wall. I like it. Back to the shed to look for a spark plug. <laughs> this place is picked clean. There's nothing else in here. Yeah, you pretty much have picked it clean. I'll tell you that to avoid to have you avoid going back here over and over again. <laughs> Just anything that comes There's up in the game. Really much look in, in the tool shed. We got that gnome. I'll give you a hint. The gnome isn't useful throughout the entire mystery. I'm putting the gnome in the motorboat. Actually, no. I take that back. It actually is useful in one part. Is it? It is. Gnome problem. Noam Chomsky from Left 4 Dead. Noam this Chomsky? Is where he got his start. Isn't Noam Chomsky uh, some psychology guy? Uh, he could be. I think so. But he's... I know him from Left 4 Dead. What's it's he doing in the, Left 4 Dead? It's one of the achievements. It's like an actual garden gnome. And one of the achievements in the game is you have to pick him up and carry him through like four levels to the end of the game. And then you get the Noam Chomsky achievement. He did some sort of language development stuff. Get dead tree cut down. Well, it's down it's now. It's down now, so good job. So many jobs that, that needed to be done and could have prevented all of this shit. Have Nancy fall through floorboards. 
You can check your PDA, it might give you some hints. No, I don't think it will. So you got your telephone numbers and your Her Interact numbers. was a great place to learn. Yep. Telephone numbers, case this is this isn't Fixed a case. Hole and floor Get look spark plug for boat ask Sally. Bastards. Pump's not working. So yeah. If you ever need like info on what to do next, you should probably consult with that before asking me. Cause that'll give you Bastards. hints on what to do That's next. That's just rude. Sally, it's Nancy. Sally, Nancy, this place is in such going? shitty place. <laughs> it's, it's in such shitty shape. Motor boat is missing a is the left the wall just came down chance? today, sorry. <laughs> I died already I once today. I, I came through the floor open. last night while right sleeping. I have no idea, but you better fix it. Thanks. Maybe I could steal it before he notices. Yep. Yeah, we saw him already. Observational platforms. Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? He never—he never seems to be around during the day. This is painting a really ominous picture. You just catch him like spying on you from the trees. Well, now what? Do I like, go to bed until night or what? I literally think he's a peeping tom. Yeah, you can turn it Talk to night. Because there's nothing else I can do except for explore. Well, you can look through the forest if you really want to, but other than that... I'll try and wander my way to the cemetery. Sure, go for it. It's actually not that bad with the map. Just continue to consult with it. 